Hello everybody and welcome back to Felsbrunn. So what we're doing here is just spraying for number 10 as you've already seen. Uh, just for a bit of extra money, it's about eight or nine thousand pounds, it's a really good price. And once it's done, which should be in any second, we'll go back over to our farm and look after the chickens and the horses. I think that is the job done. So here we go, the results. We have been reimbursed for the unused liquid fertilizer, which is good. And the total is 8,466. It was actually around that initially, but we did have to lease the sprayer, which cost around uh, 1,500 pounds. So complete it and we'll get the money back. There we go. Uh, so I did actually extend the loan to be able to buy the liquid fertilizer since we did have some expenses overnight. So if I just go back onto this page, we'll repay 5,000. Um, we did start off with the 250,000 pound loan. So yeah, eventually we should be able to get rid of it. So here we are, back over at the farm. I haven't really been here since the new day, so I don't really know what's happening with the crops. Hopefully, it's looking good. Oh yes, look, we've got some grass here. And it looks like you can actually get weeds inside the grass, inside the grass crop. So that's going to have to be dealt with. And this is looking good. Yeah, we're going to have to spray this and weed it. Actually, I'll spray it with uh, liquid fertilizer and weed it with the, uh, well, the weeder. <laughs> that way it doesn't cost us any money. Uh, this seems pretty good. I don't think there's any weeds in here, but it will need doing anyway. Um, it does say weed 100%, so... Hmm. I guess they're just not very visible. Anyway, yeah, we have plenty of jobs to do. As for the chickens, I keep getting the error message of nowhere to put the eggs for some reason. I'm assuming the egg spawn point is just here, so I have absolutely no idea why. They'd have an issue with that. That's interesting. They've made a bit of a mess, and I think... Well, we will have to look after them a bit. Ah, now this is looking good. Every uh, night at 11pm, this goes to 100%. 100% uh, training, so that's fantastic. Everything here is improving as well. So eventually, the price is going to go up considerably. So far, 6,257. We bought them for 5,000 just one day ago. So it's looking good. Looking very promising. And we must look after them a bit better than we have been doing. The oats are over here, growing, just over there. So it's just a matter of time until we can give them the maximum productivity. So first things first, let's do the liquid fertilizer. We have the sprayer attached and we already have some fertilizer in here. So this is going to be a nice fast job. Uh, we'll do both. We'll do both the, uh, the size of the field, the wheat and the oats. And then we'll get the weed around and hopefully it won't be uh, too infested. There you go, look, no more space to place new pallets, eggs, and chickens. And there's no reason at all for the eggs not to spawn, so I really don't know. I was actually getting the same error message on the server for the wool, um, but it just started to spawn, so I really have no idea what that is about. I'm guessing they are still going to spawn. If anybody knows, then please do help me out if you can do. I would really appreciate it. Because, um, yeah, the whole point of having the chickens is to sell the eggs. I think, even though it is two crops, I'm just going to treat this as one field. Just go around here. Lift the spray boom up a bit. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I'm really looking for 100% productivity on these fields. It has to be. Otherwise, we're going to have some serious problems. Now, this crop here looks a bit too established to use the weeder on. Um, I can always try it, but... Like I say, I can't actually see many weeds. I can see a few in the gaps there, but not within the crop. I suppose the crop is just so dense anyway, it's quite hard to see. So yeah, I'll continue here, and when we go very close to completion, I will return, which is probably going to be in a few seconds' time, and we'll then swap tractors and get the weeder out. Actually, maybe i use the same tractor because it has the row crop tyres. This crop we can definitely use the weeder on, so that won't be an issue. And in a second I'll take a look at the fertilising map and just see exactly where I have and haven't been. I think there is a piece just over there I've missed just by doing a headland. Uh, I don't know why I look behind me because I can't see behind me. But there you go, that's what I'm like. Um, yeah, I'm predicting there to be a piece which I've missed. It's more for the weeds though, I want to see where the weeds are. Yeah, so the field is completely infested, which is interesting. Turn that off, and you can see that, the, yeah, that, that shouldn't be there. There we go. 
there's just a tiny piece in the middle which needs to be uh, covered so I do it really really quickly and then we'll swap over and do the weeds I've seen a few comments in my videos saying hang on what was that sound at that point in the video sounding rude but it wasn't me it wasn't a rude sound although it did sound it it was my chair I need to get a new chair so very soon I'm gonna get one um, and we'll get that rude sound issue sorted out done okay so let's go back over here um, the dog is being very well behaved uh, I guess we're gonna keep Mr. Sniff even though he doesn't really have much purpose to our farm he's just you know something nice to look at he he looks good and obviously uh, he's a good good little friend to have around the farm but as for making money yeah he doesn't have many uses there unless we can take him to a dog show but I don't think so uh, did I have to spray it down the whole time I think I might have done anyway let's just reverse this back I don't want to get it wet in the rain luckily it's not going to rain There we go, can't go back too far. But it's enough to keep it dry. And the weeder is just over here. Yeah, I keep seeing quite a few messages saying get rid of such and such because you never use it, but I always need something. All the time we need something. Like the most recent one I read was the weeder. Somebody said, you never use the weeder, get rid of it. But I haven't used the weeder because I haven't needed the weeder. Um, and now we do, so everything we have except for replacing things I will be keeping I'm not going to for example get rid of the weeder and not have anything in replacement so yeah I'm gonna be running the farm as I feel necessary which most people understand but there's always somebody who wants me to get something else or sell something else that's really what multiplayer is for oh yeah I don't want to switch it on uh, that would get rid of the uh, the crop possibly and put a different crop in get right to the edges. Okay, so when this is done, we can move on to obviously job number three of today, or job number four. Yeah. Um, which is going to be, hopefully, starting the harvest in fed number 25. That is the plan. Hopefully we can start it. I don't know if it's ready, but I would have thought it would be. After all this time, it's been quite a while, so yeah, it must be almost there. So I'll continue. We'll get the field nice and productive and then we can move on once again and of course I'll show you the fertilizing map and the weeding map just to show you what it looks like once this is complete I'm gonna try it on the oat crop I don't know if it will work it does look a bit too established but you never know it is working as you can see from this page so yeah that's a good thing not complaining <laughs> that saves us quite a bit of herbicide because uh, we can just use this and now for the final piece just finishing off here so that's gone really well. I'm very pleased with this. Um, it's going to make the crop very productive. And it needs to be, because we need loads of crop for the horses. And the chickens. The chickens are going to have the wheat, and the horses have the oats. And also, the horses do need to have some hay. So what we need to do is invest in a mower, and also a tedder, and I suppose a windrower. So it's going to be quite expensive, but we can't really do it without it. We need all those things to be able to do it properly. Um, so that is something to consider when factoring in the profits for the horses. It's obviously an expense which is going to be part of it. Um, but yeah, the horses still seem to be a really good thing to do for money. Um, obviously, if, if you want to ride horses around all day, it's also fantastic for that. Um, I'm probably not going to do that. That's why I have Horse Helper. But yeah, obviously it's a nice thing to have if you like horses the ability to ride them okay so there we go that's done now very quickly just one thing to say about the Stuart trailer uh, I've been sent the official link the, the official download link for this so if you can download the one which is in my description for the video that would be fantastic because that would be supporting the modder uh, instead of the people who actually stole the mod and re-uploaded it so that would be a really good thing if you can do that if you want to have the trailer um, if you do already have the trailer and you downloaded it from the unofficial link, then in future, please do follow Blur Modding on Facebook and also use the official link. Okay, so field 20 is done. We now have field number 25 and it's ready to harvest. So let's get the combine set up. This should be really good. It's soybeans and it's going to be worth quite a bit of money. 
so, do we need fuel? I don't think so. Nope. So as usual, this is going to be a job for a worker, because it is quite slow. Uh, but we do have to do the corn casting as well. The corn casting, the soybean casting. Oh, and also the, the new Holland tractor needs to be refueled, and it needs to be serviced. Thinking about it, I have actually used the new Holland more than anything. It's been the most used tractor in the series, and it's a good tractor. I can see why I've used it so much, because it can just do so many different jobs. Now, obviously, it's only 100 horsepower, um, so it can't do any really big jobs, but really, that sort of horsepower is so handy for doing a lot of different types of jobs. With the really high horsepower, you can still do a lot of jobs, but it's more the cultivation work um, instead of the yard work. Oh, and it's so good to see some crops in the fields instead of all the neighbours just planting weeds or just leaving weeds in the field. That was a glitch which has now been fixed in version 1.1.3. 1 uh, so if you haven't got the update, then it is on the official website, Farming Simulator website. If you have it on Steam, I think it automatically updated. It did for me, but you do have to enable automatic updates. I think it defaults to automatic, so there shouldn't be an issue. As for my egg issue... I can't get any more pallets. Uh, I don't know what to do. That's kind of annoying. Um, yes, if you've experienced that issue, please do let me know, because it, it could be quite frustrating if we can't make any money out of the chickens. It could just be something like the grass or something, which is surrounding it at the wrong angle. <laughs> I don't know. Just making some crazy suggestions. Uh, actually, that's a good point. Is there any mowed grass or crop in the area? I don't think so. Seems to be clear. It's probably one of those things where it just fixes itself. Yep, not too sure. Open gate. Animal dialogue. Hmm. Not sure. Anyway, yeah. Let's grab a tractor after servicing it. So yeah, we used the new Holland tractor, we might as well stick with the same one. Drop off the weeder there. Uh, we don't need a front weight, so I'll drop, the, drop off the front weight over here as well. Just here, there we go. I was going to say in front of the door. <laughs> that would be crazy. Every time we walk out the, uh, the garage door there, we trip over a front weight for a tractor. Now I wonder if my bell spike is too close. No, good. Uh, right, so you repair it, it's going to cost $472, which isn't really money that we have available, but it is best to do this. We want to have standard tyres, there we go, that's free. And we need fuel. We do have fuel. I think I put the fuel tanker just around the corner. Uh, yes, it did. So there should be plenty in here. Brilliant. Okay, so now for the trailer, and we'll head over to the field, field number 25, and see how full the combine is. It does fill up fairly slowly. It's not like wheat or barley. It takes a little while to fill. So you probably could even do another job in between if it's just a fast job. Or a contract. But yeah, I, I must call them contracts. Ah, oh, no. It seems to be a bit of an issue. It's got stuck with the traffic. Oh, it hasn't. The traffic has just decided to uh, stop and watch. Some spectators. I didn't know it was a spectator spot, but it is now. Although I've got to admit, it is very exciting to watch combines working. It's the white car. Come on, white car. You're causing traffic. Traffic jams. Come on, white car. Come on. Nothing to see here. Oh, he looks a bit grumpy. Might have upset him. Yeah, I don't know what his problem is. He just keeps stopping to watch our combine. It's weird. Just letting you know that the uh, the car in front of the cement mixer is watching our combine. He won't move on. I right, just, just telling you the... Oh, they're moving on now. Uh, yeah, anyway, it was the white car in the front. It was uh, watching our combine. Yeah, you're right to go now. All right. Nothing to see. Off you go. Traffic management. I reckon I could do this as a job. 
Well, it's covered quite a bit of ground, so hopefully it's almost full. Without a mod such as Glance, we can't really see exactly how full it is. In fact, you can't even see in there. We'll just guess. It does notify us at 80%, which is good. Here we go. I can judge how full it was. What do you mean you finish your task? <laughs> it's just given up. Come on, keep going. It's not that boring. We'll have a new worker. Hopefully she'll do a better job. Oh, that was nowhere near full. That's weird. At the beginning of the episode, I had a whole list of different contracts, and I only have one. Hmm. I guess it's waiting for new ones to appear. Okay, so we are kind of surface to requirement here, unless we drive the combine. Uh, let's just see if there's anything else we can do. If there is, I would do that. Um, I've been told the gator is very good for transporting the pallets of eggs, but obviously I can't do that. Hopefully very soon. Yep, nothing for us. What I'll do is I will drive the combine and we'll get most of this done, hopefully. I don't think it will take too long to do. This will also save any worker fees. Uh, workers are very handy, but they can be very expensive. So I crack on, and hopefully in a few minutes' time, it will be finished. It is a shame this field isn't oats or wheat, because we need both of those two crops. It is just a crop which we can sell, soybeans. Um, yeah, because we can't feed the horses or the chickens soybeans. I don't think. <laughs> I'll have to check. I'm pretty sure we don't know. Pretty sure we can't do. Yeah, it's just oats. Oh, what? It wants to turn that way. I put on a worker just so I could unload, but it might be more trouble than it's worth. Yeah, see how it goes. <laughs> it might not work at all. Well, it's good enough for unloading. There we go. Okay, so we'll stop the worker. Clearly not as uh, helpful as I thought it might be. And then we have just this piece here to finish. And then we'll be done. We are going to have to sell some of this. Probably all of it. So if we go on the commodity page, we'll go on to soybeans. And the best price is currently 1679, which sounds very good, over at the Grain Elevator East, which is not too far from the farm, very close to the lime station, uh, but it is the other side of the map from here. Anyway, yep, I'll continue and we'll be done in a few seconds. There we go, the final few pieces. So yeah, it is just money for us just to help the farm. It isn't really to help the animals at all. And in case you're wondering why I keep turning the header off completely, it's because the combine doesn't seem to have enough power to actually turn around on the hill. Uh, I don't know if it's supposed to be so underpowered, but yeah. I mean, it can just about do it. It can do it at about one or two miles per hour. There has been one occasion where it couldn't move at all. Uh, so it does seem a little bit weak. In fact, I have seen stock of gloss uh, with the same issue with the same combine harvester. So yeah, it does seem underpowered. Right, so we'll unload, and then we're going to take it over to this very good sell point. The price might have changed slightly, but we are playing in real time, so chances are it is going to be fairly similar. Hopefully, this all fits in the trailer. It'd be good if it does. Yep, perfect. Okay, so uh, we're just going to take it over there. Hopefully make a bit of money from this. It might be 
15 and no yeah 15,000 pounds wow could be that would be really helpful and there we go again no more space to place new pallets and the chickens weird yep no pallets appeared no pallets at all I think the only way we can actually get to this place is by going all the way up here to then drop back down unless we cut across the fields which is another possibility but it's very steep and we don't own the fields so that could be quite challenging it's also quite interesting to think that we have the entire field in the trailer the entire field of soybeans especially as they were fertilized here we are I think this is the place we need to go to I will double check yep so I'm hoping for a really good price here well we know the price just hoping for a really good amount of money oh look at that money rocket up it's about time we did get an increase like that because that is nice so yeah fifteen thousand five hundred and forty seven pounds very helpful we're back at twenty two thousand five hundred and twenty seven so it's all on the mend the bank account it's looking good and yeah we have the uh, the chickens to hopefully make money and the horses so we'll leave it there thank you so much for watching hopefully you've enjoyed the video until next time see you again soon bye for now